is we're going to find out where the graph crosses the x-axis. That's where the y-coordinate is zero. Okay, so to do that on the calculator, what I've done here is I've already inputted, okay, under y equals, you can see x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4. I just put in a, an equation here just to show you how this works. Go over to graph, okay, and there's the graph of the function. But what we're interested in is those points where it crosses the x-axis. Those are the zeros. That's where y coordinate, uh, the y value is zero. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to second, calculate, and you can see number two is zero. We're going to press enter. And what I'm going to do is, you can see here in the left-hand corner, see how it says left bound? What we want to do is we want to arrow just a little bit to the left, okay, and above that point where it's crossing the x-axis. So I'm going to press enter. And then over here you can see it says right bound. So I'm going to arrow just a little bit to the right, but also below the x-axis. I'm going to press enter. And then you see how it says guess right here. You want to hit enter one more time. And it's going to find that point that's in between those two points that we picked previously, okay, the left bound and the right bound. And so you want to make sure one's above the x-axis and one's below, one's to the left, one's to the right. And it's going to find that zero. And you know you've got it because you can see y equals zero.